Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. I've been a big fan of ARM and RISC-V computers. And the last couple of years, I really tried to avoid Intel. But I saw this special sale for a Intel N100 mini PC for around 100 25 euros on Aliexpress and I couldn't resist so we'll start the unboxing let's see okay. can get the plastic off So at the moment, it seems that the price has gone up to around 160 euros. That is for 16 gigabytes of memory and 512 gigabytes of storage, which is still a fair price. But of course, at 125 euros, it's yeah, really, really good price. So we have the manual. Here is the mini computer itself. So there's the three USB 3 ports. So that is one less than, for instance, a Raspberry Pi 5, although Raspberry Pi 5 has four USB ports, but only two of them are USB 3. There's two Ethernet ports. Uh, I think that's a Kensington lock. Audio jack, which doesn't come standard anymore with the Raspberry Pi 5. Power, uh, this is for ventilation. This one actually has three HDMI output ports. And I think they say you can do three screens simultaneously, 4K 60 Hertz. And here is the power button. And here is also some ventilation. And that's it. So as a size comparison, here I have a Raspberry Pi 4 in a FLIR case. So, yeah, it's a bit wider. It's a bit higher. But it's actually a little bit shorter. But still, the Raspberry Pi 4 and 5, they're still smaller than this little system. But this is... I think for an Intel system, really, really small. So, what did I buy for 125 euros? So if you compare this with a Raspberry Pi 5, for instance, a Raspberry Pi 5 doesn't even have a 16 gigabyte memory model. And you need to buy a case, uh, cooling, sometimes that's uh, can be done with the case itself and the power supply and storage and this is all everything complete for 125 euros although at the moment it's back up to 160 euros something like that but if you don't need 16 gigabytes of memory and you settle for 8 and you settle for 256 gigabytes of storage, then think it's around 140. So this looks like Visa mount. Power supply.
So yeah, to be honest, I would have preferred just powering from USB-C uh, because that means that I have several power supplies for those and I don't really like those wall warps. And this is actually a HDMI cable. So you actually get this one also for f the same price. And I guess that's for the fees amount. So let's see if we can try to switch it on. Okay. So this is my Lenovo tablet, but it also has a micro HDMI input port. So that one is in. So let's see. If I plug in a wireless keyboard. And yeah, let's try to boot uh, a Linux image. So I downloaded a daily build of Ubuntu 24.04. So let's see what happens. Not powering on. So let's see the escape. Press the escape button. No. So let's see, boot. So boot from the USB device first. And let's save changes and exit. So here we have Ventoy. And as I said, I downloaded a daily build of Ubuntu. So let's see, boot in normal mode, let's see what happens. Well, that's blinking blue LED means that something is still happening. I see a cursor, yeah, so we're here. And Don't send. System. No, I don't want that. So 
So I'm not really sure if that's readable, but if we do it like this. So we have the Intel N100, 16 gigabytes of memory, 512 gigabytes of storage. Well, perhaps uh, it wasn't a good idea to try Ubuntu 24.04 without an internet connection. But I guess this is enough for a unboxing. It does actually boot, so later on I'll try to install Ubuntu on it. Perhaps I'll wait uh, until we have the official release. And uh, that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.